Thank goodness you're both all right. Unfortunately, we have nothing further to report apart from the loss of the gate. But tell us, how did you fare on the mountain? Golbez aspires to deliver void scent unto the source, where they may die and return to the life stream to be reborn. Far be it for me to deny them, but the cost to our people would be beyond unconscionable. Indeed, void scent themselves are inherently dangerous. Never mind the chaos sure to follow should the barrier twixt our worlds be shattered will be naught less than a calamity. The simplest way would of course be to strike at Golbez himself. That said, our task has been rendered rather difficult. Indeed. Ruby Conte have deprived us of a means to cross into the void. Kenyatso's faint. That was doubtless what he meant when he said his part was done. Golbez sacrificed two archfiends just to stop us. He must need more time to break the barrier to our world. Then the days ahead will be critical. We must find a way back to the Thirteenth. We could employ another Atomos, but that approach would only be viable if we found another planar fissure. An unlikely prospect. Better we explore other avenues. If you will excuse my absence, I shall return to Charlian to look for information. By all means. Meanwhile, I shall seek the counsel of our alchemists. Time is of the essence, so wish me luck. I'm no scholar. I'll find another way to keep myself busy here. <laughs> Rest assured, I never shirk my training. I will be ready for whatever awaits. you're wondering, I won't ask for further payment. I will go for myself, to try and understand why I spoke the words I said to Rubicante. And the fire I felt within, when you all came to my aid in Galamold. While our esteemed sorceress battles her tomes, let us see to our own affairs.
Shen Yatso and Rubicante have joined with the Great Flow. In this world, tis the ravenous who are useful, and few were as ravenous as they. You were fine pawns, my archfiends, and you have played your parts to perfection. But with the goal in sight, I need no minions to do my bidding. Here on, I shall walk alone. At long, long last, the end draws nigh. The end to life on that star, and the end to my suffering.